As I'm sure many of you guys already know, the last few weeks have been a crazy combination of travel and training as I was offered a place back in August to run Berlin Marathon. At the time, this left me only five weeks to train for the race. Not only that, but during those five weeks, I had a trip to LA and Vegas. Not exactly ideal prep for a marathon in that Vegas heat. Thankfully, training's gone pretty well. I created a plan for myself to make the most of the relatively short preparation time I had. It's been a super simple plan, keeping me at three runs per week as the frequency my body has for the most part gotten used to in recent months, but increasing the mileage quite significantly from week to week. I wasn't starting from zero running wise, thankfully. 10 miles was a very comfortable place around about the start of the program, but I wanted to get the Sunday long run up to 18 miles in the time I had pre-taper. The plan included zero speed work, only a little bit of marathon pace tempo work in the middle of the long runs and some strides at the ends of most sessions. In such a short time frame where volume was the main focus, there was just no benefit to be had from specific targeted speed sessions. So I dumped them from the plan straight away. So how did this opportunity come my way? I'm partnering with a company called Here Technologies, an open location platform who are once again sponsoring the Berlin Marathon this year. You can find out more about Here via the link in the description. The team at Here have created the hashtag MyBeautifulRun project, where a team of 50 of us runners, including myself, will be wearing smartwatches provided by Here loaded with their tracking software. Each runner will be creating real-time data during the race, which will then be turned into a beautiful visualization on a big screen on the marathon course in Berlin. I talk a lot about run pacing and the importance of having a solid strategy to implement on race day. With this and with the uh, transparency that this data is gonna give me, there's just not gonna be any hiding when all my data is gonna be up on the big screen. I had planned to do some of my longer runs on an indoor track whilst in Vegas in an effort to avoid the desert heat. But once I, uh, I tried a short 200 meter run on one, of the, uh, on one of the days in Vegas at the UNLV track, my mind was boggled at the idea of running 144 laps to get my 18 mile run in. Thankfully, the mornings were much cooler than the 40, uh, the 40 odd degree heat of the days. So I managed to find waking up at uh, 4 a.m. as a great solution to getting out and getting those long runs done. Now I'm back in the UK, working off my jet lag. Um, we're now in taper mode and I'm much happier. I'm off to Berlin on Saturday, so if you're there, please do be sure to stop by and say hello if you see me. Wish me luck for Sunday and uh, let me, I'll let you know how I get on at Berlin. I'm looking forward to this fast and flat course as it's uh, famed for being, so fingers crossed. I'll speak to you soon. Bye now.